ओके गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी आर ऑब्जर्विंग अबाउट द एडप्टेशन विथ रेफरेंस टू द माइक्रो क्लाइमेट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर वी विल सी अबाउट द थेरोटिकल पार्ट बट हाउ द इकोलॉजिकल कंडीशंस दीज आर जनरली हैविंग द लिमिटिंग फैक्टर्स फॉर द ब्रायोफाइटिक प्लांट्स आर देर सो ऑलरेडी यू आर नोइंग Uh, we have seen about the microclimatic conditions in relation to this and secondly there is having the some important habitats are there and the different types of the adaptations are there so what is the meaning of adaptation adaptation is nothing but the survival of the plant or there is having the relationship of the plant to their respective climatic conditions so climatic conditions are nothing but as you consider soil water temperature then uh, humidity these are the and the rainfall in relation to bryophytic plants are there so already we are knowing they are generally growing where the water is available or humidity is there and completing the, their life cycle within a shorter time and there are the certain process are there there is having the vegetative propagation then uh, 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 sex, uh, uh, there is having the sexual propagation methods are there or the sorry reproduction methods are there in vegetative reproduction different plant parts we have seen there is having the tubers are there adventitious branches are there gemma cups are there gemmi are there or uh, bulbils are there so different type of the or tubers are there like this or in some species we will see the Uh, nicely with uh, some uh, examples also here in this uh, microclimatic condition already we are knowing uh, there is having the uh, specifically uh, the characters of the some bryophytic species or what is the meaning of adaptation so in adaptation uh, uh, plant life is there already we are knowing the terms hydrophytes geophytes mesophytes are there or the halophytes are there samophytes samo means plants growing in the sandy soil area then there are the epiphytic conditions are there so in relation to these uh, bryophytic plants already as you are observing here there there is having the certain traditional or land plants are there and there the some development of the true vascular tissue and the Uh, some tissues are acting as a non vascular uh, tissues are there but they are functioning like this one so in bryophytes certainly it is, this is a criteria here already we are knowing classification the hepatiki then anthocerotia and the mosses or the mosses are there so they having the certainly some this plant they having no larger leaves are there or no specific stem or the Uh, like the specific character or there is a for reproduction uh, these are the non flowering plants so no specific flower condition is there so as you are uh, observing here the different habitats suppose the uh, there are the some xerophytes like uh, habitat developing on the rocks are there so climatic factor generally temp uh, uh, soil temperature water availability humidity is there here you are observing some uh, mosses are there so generally they have the adaptive character to hold the dew drops and therefore the ca capsule generally survive in the open environmental conditions are there some you are uh, we are observing here some these mosses like as they are in the in rainy season this uh, generally having the picture is generally observing so in the early morning they are showing the holding of the uh, certain dew drops are there these are the some habitats at the rock crevices or the slopes are there so basically while we are considering this all character in uh, bryophytic uh, types are there so mosses are so plays the important role about 9250 species of mosses uh, generally having or more than this so these two mosses generally then peat mosses and the granite mosses are there going on the rocks are there so how the 
transportation of water then how the the, the development of the reproductive uh, cells uh, takes place so it is very interesting part and therefore we have given the weightage to the this microclimatic condition in this uh, these lower plants are there we are knowing the development of this uh, particularly the gametes formation gametangia formation it is also the one uh, yeah, characteristic so certain members like the andreoxida genus andrea sp spagnopsida or the sphagnum or the peat moss or the bryopsida or the true mosses are there bryum or the uh, polytricum or the uh, others are there pogonatum phenaria so these are the true mosses so they have in the specific microclimatic condition and therefore they grow at the specific site is there right or specific locality is there in characteristics we are knowing their environmental conditions some are generally found at the moist environment so just i have given the, some photographs for these uh, conditions are there and they can also found on the different positions are there rocks ground or the trees are there this is a good uh, photograph of the some mosses like the sphagnum or the bryum are there so they are very minor but the developmental stages all reproductive these are the uh, well developed so the occurrence of these uh, bryophytic species just we have seen suppose in the forest areas uh, damp uh, areas are there uh, or the on the tree trunks are there so in forest area they are commonly seen uh, such type of the occurrence in the these different types of mosses uh, bryophytes the mosses liverworts and the hornworts they are having the important role the lack of the true roots it is also very interesting part is there but still there is having the anchoring function and the transportation of water from the soil to the plant body it is very important just so see this is a very small moss is there and how is the rhizoidal system is there and they grows in abundant because the spores germinate in thousand and therefore their patches are observed in the field so they still remain up to the next season and therefore there is a part uh, this is a good example dendrocirros is there it is from the anthocerotic uh, or hornworts are there like uh, anthocerotic there are six anthocerotic six genera but the thallus are very small and their shape uh, is a unique type of the shape is there here i have given this uh, characteristic here there are the two uh, other palms are there dendrocerotic commonly seen on the uh, tree trunk or where the too much water drainage is there it not requires the more water so therefore uh, it's uh, seen then pheosiras uh, this lower photograph so it shows yellow spores are there then the sorus they are in the specific spore they can be also showing the chloroplast like the algae is there so in anthocerus here the chloroplast is the larger and throughout the entire cell is there so therefore these cells showing a single chloroplast and there is having the unique uh, shape and the size is there basically there are the chloroplast granules are there you observe here just uh, uh, oil bodies these are commonly called as oil bodies in the bryophyta so or the, these members are there so basically and just uh, this is a scientific photograph the scale is there we have to put the scale so how we, uh, are these uh, there uh, this uh, parameter it shows the uh, diameter of the spore, spores are there or uh, sorry chloroplast are there so just you go through it so they are in the character so this is the anthocerus punctatus then philonotis it is the moss so see the moss uh, patches are there so how their growth is there it is very important uh, character then secondly certain these localities we are observing in the field so what is it so it's showing the where the humidity is there or in forest area there is having the certain uh, soil conditions are there here this is also a good uh, photograph for the moss is there so just see how these mosses 
hold the water and generally helps for in the uh, sporogonium development. Some hepatic members we are knowing, liverworts are there, Marchensia, Rixia, or the Asterella, Plagio, Clasma, right. So there's many having the thallus very sturdy and uh, generally some are growing at the high altitude. Marchensia is found more than uh, 10, uh, uh, 5000 uh, feet from the uh, sea level, so altitude region is there. So liverworts are there. In liverworts some leafy younger man is also the character. So here we are knowing the legionia is there. Uh, uh, Pelia is the thallus member in between this. Then some mosses in hepatic uh, These uh, other examples the Marchensia it shows uh, Gimacops are there. Then Anthocerus. So all these uh, types uh, generally these are from the members of this one. Second important part, there is no lignified tissue. Lignified that is the cell wall. Cells are not sclerin chymatis. They lack the vascular tissue and therefore no lignified tissue. Having the only rhizoids are there. Right. And secondly, as uh, they are having uh, usually the plant body is two to maximum four uh, uh, patches. Uh, are having the two to four inches are there then two stem is uh, absent in the mosses these are soft plants one to ten centimeter taller and generally found at the moist shady places are there so these are some character uh, the sphagnum is very specific you see the left hand photograph so sphagnum with the, this uh, sporogonium is there capsule foot and the seta so uh, it is uh, having a stalk and it is called as a pseudopodium, right? So you are observing white stalk. Then this genus is very specific, Rixio carpus in family Rixiaceae. You see the how the air pores are observing on this thallus. So just uh, we have to see the different conditions with reference to this. The spores also in some members they are showing the two hues are there, distal and the proximal hue. There is in the right hand uh, spore, it shows the triradiate mark. It is called as a triradiate mark and this is the distal end on which it is not observing. So it is also a specific uh, development is there. Again, there are some different habitats are there. You see how the sphagnum moss uh, at the lower photograph, then localities are there in the forest area. So small uh, generally environmental condition and their factors affecting and there is a development of adaptation. So how they are adapted to their climate. Right. So there is the development is there and therefore it is to be discussed uh, in the evolutionary points are there. So just you see from about the lower side. So liverworts, hornworts and mosses are there. So mosses having the somehow vascular uh, in the after vascular plants so they shows the in other plants true lignin xylem phloem present so uh, uh, is showing a sporangium and independent sporophyte whereas in mosses the seta elongate capsule expands after seta elongation and persistent calyptra develop to the protection for the capsule then isoprene uh, emission so all these uh, they are detected by the uh, in uh, XC2 conditions, but how what is the change is there? So uh, in the studies, then for hornworts ability to distinguish the D methionine. So certain chemicals uh, they are used. The ability to conjugate indolacetic acid. So some uh, hormones we are knowing growth regulators and growth. Uh, inhibitors are there so they are to be tested in the last one they were words the multicellular embryo it is the character then sporopollenin generally the wall uh, of the spores it shows uh, presence and anthridia archegonia with sterile jacket layers are there it is also one uh, comparative character with that of this other members algae but algae are the supposed as the pioneers on this planet Secondly, uh, this uh, photograph has uh, related with the evolutionary character. So, diorama of uh, orocaryad forest is there in the America. From the 200 million years ago, 
till the all continents were united into the first so we, you are knowing about the geological time scale so uh, there is the pangea is a super continent there is the one land mass of the planet and later on it is split so therefore uh, generally uh, this character it is to be checked in some petrified forest national uh, parks generally they came from the trees and uh, it is known as the, that time so these petrified logs they are showing the different diversity of this forest or the giant trees are there so they, this is the having uh, seen in the, uh, their museums and they have maintained this one so uh, this is a, uh, some are the fossil records still uh, they are to be under study so you just go through it about what is the meaning of adaptation and uh, in the next uh, lecture we will see with our proper bryophytic examples okay thanks to all